a lot of people ignore me when I say hi. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I feel like that's not unusual for people at tables. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that's probably pretty par for the course. I know that I am guilty as just an attendee of like wanting to see so many things. I tend to want to walk by the tables. I can't help it. Welcome to my video series. I'm Paul. And this is basically where I just hijack people who are coming to SBX and I ask them questions. And you can just speak towards the fuzzy thing here. <laughs> that's the microphone. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Shannon, or Shuna. I am from Baltimore. I'm Lisa Grabenstetter. I am from Washington, D.C. Hi, guys. I'm Estabelle Ringen. I'm actually from Herndon, Virginia, so I'm pretty local to SPX. Excellent. How many SPXs have you attended? I have only attended two, counting this one. Last year, I did not table, but I had a wonderful visiting experience. I think this is my fourth. Have you seen it change very much from your first one to this one? Um, it's always been just about as crowded, but it's gotten a lot bigger, which I think says something for the general increase in attendance. The volume of the space has increased, so has the volume of the people. It's impressive. This is my second one, so... It's only your second one? Yeah, it's only my second one. Have you been to other cons? Lots of different ones. Not necessarily all, like, comic cons but like, I used to go to a lot of anime conventions, especially when I was younger. How would you say that SPX compares to the other comic cons? SPX is the best. <laughs> SPX is the best. I used to be a regular attendee of Dragon Con in Atlanta. Oh yeah, Dragon Con, which has also gotten huge. Oh geez, yes. And I used to be a fairly regular attendee of Otakon in Baltimore. How would you say SPX compares to those other cons? smaller, much more approachable. Another convention I've been to recently has been Capclave, which is more of a authors and sci-fi professional convention, and it feels a little bit more like that. Some of the panels that they've done since that's become a bigger deal in the last few years is also a manageable number of panels. I'm not overwhelmed coming here. I don't feel terrible for being too late. Yes. Have you been to other comic cons besides SPX? It kind of depends on what you mean, really. Uh, I've been to a lot of anime conventions in the past, but I don't think I've ever been to a solid comic con until SPX. How have those anime conventions compared to SPX or vice versa? I like SPX a lot more, frankly. <laughs> what makes SPX better? SPX just has more of the vibe that I like when I'm going to a convention. People who really like independent art. It's people who want to look at your comics. Excellent. Are you a comics creator as well or just a reader? Um, I make comics. I do a web comic called Ellie of the Stars. And what's Ellie of the Stars about? Adventure and friendship. There's two kids. They go into space to go save a prince and a princess. Awesome. <laughs> I have created comics in the past though. It's been a few years. Um, I'm more on the illustration, uh, the editorial illustration side at the moment. I recently completed three illustrations for the Lightspeed magazine's uh, Women Destroy Science Fiction issue. Oh, cool. And I'm currently working on another project called Genus Loci with um, the publicist of SFWA Science Fiction Writers of America. Oh, okay. Um, I was part of an anthology that a friend of mine who had a table last year, and some of the other contributors still have it on their table this year, I've noticed. Which anthology? It's called um, I Was a Teenage Anime. <laughs> I Was a Teenage Anime? <laughs> That's awesome. I'm a comic creator. Uh, I like to create educational comics for children. Right now I've been selling a coloring book, coloring and activity book about education and entomology. Excellent. Aside from your work, what should visitors to uh, SPX check out? Anything with bugs on it. <laughs> Anything. Yuko Oda uh, from Johnny Wander. She's there. Emily Carroll, obviously. Are there any panels that you want to attend? I know Jillian Tamaki had a panel I was pretty excited about, but I'm pretty sure it's over at this point. I saw her walk by, so... Oops. There's one that I really want to go to tomorrow. It's like a Girls in Comics oh, yeah. panel. It's like they were talking about the difference between writing comics for girls and writing comics about girlhood. Nice. And that just sounds really cool to me, so I'm really excited about that one. That sounds awesome. Yeah. There's a Girlhood in Comics panel that Shannon and I really want to go to. That's basically all the official questions. Okay. Is there anything that people who have not been to SPX should know about SPX? SPX is not like any convention you've probably ever been to. SPX is a lot more lax. It's incredibly relaxed. Overall, you'll meet some really wonderful creative people here. and. Otherwise, some very, very friendly people. 
One of the most wonderful and most interesting things about SPX is that it's really, it's really based around and for the creators so much. So you'll come here, like, oh, the entry fee is only ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Yeah, it's so low. And then you go in and spend three times more than so much what money. otherwise <laughs> on the posters and, and the art. And it's it's wonderful. Everybody's so incredibly approachable. You walk away feeling like you understand so much more about the industry and the people involved. It's an extremely personal convention and just come with a lot of cash in your pocket. Yes. I feel like a lot of people like think Comic Con and get kind of intimidated. And SPX is one of those things that you go to and you don't have to be intimidated at all. So everybody should go to it basically because it's a very homey feeling type convention and everybody's super cool and I love it. It makes me happy. Aww. Can you tell people where they can find you on the internet? Shuna.tumblr.com and Elliotthestars.com. You can find my art on uh, moomoocattle.tumblr.com. They can find me at erringen.com slash perish the thought. erringen.com is my actual website. Always check out my website, magneticcrow.com. Check out the uh, issue number 49 of Lightspeed Magazine. There's several of my illustrations on it. Excellent. Thank you very much for being yeah. one of my interviewees. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. And thank you all for watching. Bye. Well, thank you for being in my interview series, People of SPX. And thank you all for watching. And bye. Thank you for doing this with me. Thank you for doing this. Can I give you a hug? Bring it in. <laughs> uh, uh, awesome. Thank you for watching. Okay. She says that louder into the microphone. SPX is the best. Well, you just blew up the mic. Well, I've been actually getting scouts telling me about the bugs. I have a large, large network of people who are solely dedicated to informing me about bugs on the floor. That's fantastic. Even literally. That's uh... <laughs> Yeah, that was that was pretty easy. <laughs>